what's going on everybody welcome back to another video i'm picasso thanks for joining in today we're going to take a look at an application that you know i don't know why it took me so long to come across this okay now the topic of today's video is pretty much webcams right there are a lot of different types of webcams right you got motion captures you got 720p you got 1080p you got some 4k then you have some real 4k webcams right? you have built-in webcams and you have external web cameras now i have two external web cameras that i use i have one that's 1080p actually they both say 1080p but one is really 1080p and one is more like 720 even right now what you are looking at me at this is the pixel 6a because if you weren't aware google has enabled webcam functionality on their pixel devices now i will say that right now the quality is not good and i'm actually not sure why i didn't change anything but i've used my pixel 6a as a sorry i keep looking at myself here i've already used this pixel 6a uh, as a webcam and the quality was much better i don't know if it's the lighting i do have decent lighting in the office right now but um yeah it's not the best and i'm not sure why that is but if you do not have a pixel device and you don't have a webcam but you want a webcam whether it's for zoom calls meetings um you know just any type of thing even recording here is the next best thing now this might not be new to all of you but it's new to me i don't know how it slipped under my radar and it's i assume it's been around for some time right and i'm talking about camo studio right or the camo app okay i'm going to bring it up on my s10 and once you download cam uh the camo app it basically turns your device into a webcam you can connect the cord like right now my pixel 6a it is connected through a usb c uh, to usb a and attached to my uh, my pc which is how you're seeing me now and i'm actually running it through a recording software on my uh pc right now recording software i use obs and i also use streamlabs streamlabs is my favorite even though i know most people prefer obs studios over it um so let me just go ahead here so camo is free in the play store you download it right and when you download it you go through the initial setup and stuff like that then we also have the pc version uh that you need to download on your pc which is very straightforward it's free uh, let's go ahead and switch over here just so you guys can see the website. So we switch over here and then we're just going to bring up Chrome. And uh, we bring up Chrome and I think it should be here already. Camo Studios right here. Okay. So we go to Camo Studios and we see here the first one by Reincubate. Re Click on that. And then this gives you information about Camo. Uh, for Windows, you can upgrade to Camo Pro. I haven't really gotten into it yet. Uh, the little bit of stuff that I've seen is pretty cool. It is very tempting. I might go up to Pro. I'm not really sure as yet, but very simple. You click download for Windows. I've already done so. It pops up here. You have a. You can join the community and stuff like that, and yada yada yada. You do that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna exit. I already have it downloaded, and then you go on the Play Store and you download Camo. I'm just gonna show you guys this bit here play store on the device of course you can do it on multiple devices that's something that i actually didn't really think of i wonder if it does like multi cam support i might have to check that out in this video <laughs> since we're already here so i already have this on here uh camo webcam that's what i typed in and then you see camo whoop camo webcam for mac and pc so it says for mac and pc let me uh, let me go back here. I know this part isn't really necessary, but just so you guys can see. So camo, see if I can get the focus. Yeah, the, the 6A is not really focusing right now. It's not really doing me justice at the moment. Um, but hopefully camo will be a solution to a problem that I, you know, I don't really have a problem. But uh, yeah, so camo for webcam. So I've gone ahead and I've already installed it. So it's on my PC. It is now on my device. I'm going to click open and now it says not connected, but you can connect over Wi-Fi. There is a barcode, or sorry, barcode. Wow. I'm old. There is a QR code <laughs> that you just uh, scan within the program, which I'm going to bring up the program now. Actually, let's go ahead and bring it up. 
just want to make sure there's no uh, information that is showing that shouldn't be showing uh, let's see here come on it's taking a little bit to start up okay there we have it camera I'm gonna bring it up here on the top monitor we are connected camera is locked camera is locked why is the camera locked uh, another app has locked this camera Camel can't access it until that app is closed. Hmm. Okay. Now, because I'm using my Pixel 6a as the camera, that might have something to do with it. But that's not... Like, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's go over. Let me get back here to the scene. Oh, I did not click it. Here we go. All right. So, here we go. So, again, I'm using the 6a as a camera. Uh, device... Android webcam connected device. So, did, okay, so I guess it shows all of the devices that is connected to my PC. So right here, this Android webcam, this is, now, I don't know what's gonna happen if I click it. Nothing happens, okay, so that's the 6A, but if I go to the S10, there we go. So I'm on the S10 now. We are in the landscape, uh, sorry, portrait mode. Now I'll switch it over to landscape. Here we go, so now, this is landscape let me see if look at that the quality okay i'm gonna go like this there we go the quality is instantly better instantly better instantly better okay all right so let me hold this here i, I don't want to have a <laughs> a very unflattering <laughs> position here but it's instantly better okay there's a couple things that you can do in here we have the app so uh it sees 1080p 16 by 9 full HD. I'm going to go to, I believe they have, there's 4K Ultra HD. Let's see. Uh, ultra resolution, like 4K is great. Sharpener video, something over video conferencing apps. Don't use it, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. All right, let's take a look and see if this looks any better. Um, the quality is so much better though, compared to whatever the Pixel 6a over there is doing. No offense, <laughs> I love that phone. Um, but yeah, the quality is really good, right? I like that. But of course, uh, running 4K for too long, that's definitely going to be running up the device. I like to just go 1080p, um, 30 FPS. Oh, my arm. Oh, you know what? Give me one second. If we take a look at what Cam Studio has, so the name of the device, uh, the lens we are using, so we, we are using right now the wide 12 megapixel and then there's an ultra wide on this uh, device. So if I go ultra wide, look at that. So a lot more uh, control over your device. You can fully control it from the PC. The ultra wide, you do lose a lot of uh, um, integrity. So let's go back then you have normal wide. Which wide is this? Is that front? That might be front facing. I think that's front facing. Um, let's see here. And then if I go, oh yeah, that's front. So see right here, it says front and here it says back. Okay. So we'll go to that one, which is wide and then ultra wide and then front. We have normal and then wide. And it says missing a lens. So that's, some, that's a, a lot of functionality here. So instantly, like you can see the quality. The pixel, the pixel has a problem with colors, right? And you can see it there. Because if I go back here, you can see, uh, can I make that a little bit bigger? Yes, I can. Uh, you know what, I don't need to make it bigger. You can definitely see on the pixel, you can see, oh, that's autofocus. Nice, bring it back a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you're, you're honestly, sometimes the camera on your device is better than any camera that you could go out there and buy or be able to afford, right? Personally, me, I have so much devices. I use a lot of my devices for a lot of my videos. Um, okay, back to the video. Here we go. So, uh, scenes and watermarks. So you can make different scenes. You have watermarks. So I've There's different filters and stuff like that. So this one here, 
Let's see, there's stock presets, uh, saturation buff. Let's see how that looks. Uh, did that make any changes? No, let's go to Synthwave 1980s. Okay, so you get some natural effects that you don't really need to do anything because I can, and I will show you. I will actually put this into uh, Steam Labs. Steam Labs. I'll put this into Stream Labs and show you uh, basically how I'm going to use this to replace my Pixel 6a. And then there's this Orc attack. So these are just filters. You got a couple in here. Yeah, you know, so you can play around with the scenes. I haven't played around with the scenes and stuff like that as yet. But if we do go over to where am I looking? Where am I looking for here? Framing. What is that? So you can frame. Oh, so you can zoom. Okay. And these parts are locked, I believe, or something like that. Uh, so you can't do anything with those. I'm not really sure what that part's about. Again, I honestly, I'm be honest with you. I'm definitely getting the premium for this. So here's some filters over here. We got none yet. What is this? Modes. So we have right now we're on normal mode. This is portrait mode. Okay, portrait mode. And what do we got here? Okay, so it kind of it gives you that bokeh effect. What is this one? Okay, what's this one called? This is privacy. So it does its best to block out the back. What is this? Spotlight. Can't turn these things on. I don't know wh why, but, uh, you know, uh, we'll figure it out as we go. So privacy. And then what is this one here? The last one I can't get to. So I'm assuming, assuming that those have to do with now I'm looking at you instead of looking at you. Um, okay, let's continue filters. Nothing there yet that I can deal with. And then we have this one. So what is this now? Uh, lightning, lightning. What does lightning do? Lightning. Oh, okay. So wait, so to the side, oh no, it's on there as well. So now I got lightning on my face. Okay. What else we got? Chromatic. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I like this. It's definitely trippy. You have to give your viewers warning before using this, which I apologize. I didn't give you guys warning because I didn't really know. I should have known though. Uh, this big head. Yo. Hey. <laughs> big brain. So if my hands go there. Okay. That's kind of trippy, but that's cool. That's cool. I'm. You see, I'm much bigger now, right? I got some pounds on me now, so it's almost like... I don't have a neck anyways so you know <laughs> okay big head uh what else we have friends on your head what oh my goodness now this is actually kind of creepy to me because he's all jittery let's see if i stop moving now it's a little bit too jittery so they got some bugs to work out there with fred you know, friends got some bugs to work out. Okay. Uh, we got invisible, but <laughs> let me take off my glasses. Hey, subscribe for more videos like this. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Invisible. Okay. All right. All right. We got invisible sketch. I, yeah, that's what I was thought. I'm pretty sure that, you know, we've kind of figured out this is cool, man. There's so much potential in this. I don't know how I never came across this eight bit wow so let me see something here take off my glasses my eyes i blink that's cool that's cool and creepy but honestly like i like that though i like the sketch and i like the 8 bit okay um basic portrait mute background so it decolorizes the background and it just leaves you with the background that's pretty cool uh, and then they have, so that was in the novelty area, uh, section and I'm hoping, let me see accessibility emoji face, emoji face. Okay. Emoji face. Ah, ah. It catches when I blink. Okay. But when I speak, it's doing all the emojis and it's trying to keep up with me. <laughs> Okay, all right. Kind of cool. What is a space follow? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Very jittery. It's almost like there's a haircut. Uh, sorry, haircut. Like a earthquake. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. I mean, for the most part, it is. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a lot of tear. Oh, is that a lot of tearing? You see it right there. I think it's because I'm out of the field. Oh, but it's doing up here too with the hat. That's cool though. Like, I mean, in the range of the lens, it is following me. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. mm, 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 mm. it's okay. Okay. Daddy got you. Hmm. Okay. Can you please not puke on my shirt? Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's get this hooked into uh streamlabs. But and then let me add in a source. And then I'm going to add in a video capture device. Let's go ahead and add and we have camel cam. And let's add the source and here it is. So right off the bat, you can already see like it's just way better. It is way, way, way better, right? You can just literally put it side by side. Look at that. Uh, let's, uh, where is the tu -tu 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 transform, edit transformation. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Let's go back to transform, flip horizontally. Look at that. Okay. Which one looks better? <laughs> Look at that. It's so clear. It's so sharp. Look at that. The coloring is better, the lighting. I don't, I, I mean, I don't think the pixel was as good as the cam here, but man, it's night and day. It's literally night and day. So I'm gonna put this up there in the corner, grab this. Look at that, even fully stretched out like that, it's just better. And then I put the overlay on it like that. Look at that, look at that. We'll just go back and refresh look at that so much better so much better this changes everything for me personally right because there's so much more detail okay so what i wanted to also uh show you was that if we go ahead now and let's say we put on the ar let's go i think it's chromatic and now we go back look at that so now i'm in chromatic in streamlabs right so therefore i can go like I can take this, put it back down here. I can put it back down there and make that small, like so. Uh, what am I trying to do here? So we got that on. I'm trying to show you guys something and it's like not really working. Uh, okay, live stream, there we go. So we got the live, then we have that. Now, if I go ahead and actually let's bring this down here. Okay, so that's all you guys get to see is up there. And then I bring on cam. There we go. So now, is it locked? It's not locked. Why can't I move? There we go. Um, let us again flip horizontally. There we go. So look at that. Look at that. Now my cam. Uh, just like that okay so look at that beautiful so now I get the camo effect in Streamlabs so now if I let's see I want to saturation nerf so they have saturation nerf and saturation buff let's go synth wave look at that so we got all the filters threads on my head Fred, but Fred's tail is kind of creepy though um fred needs some work we can go sketch uh and then we can go tropical hawaii like there's just so this this definitely is going to just change so much when it comes for me and Streamlabs. look at that that's beautiful man um i'm definitely going to be looking into uh, you know what i might as well do that with you guys but before that actually let's check out what these scenes are so control one i believe that's this one here am i on it control one and then control two is okay so you get some but oh, you guys aren't seeing that sorry so control two here we go the first scene is just the wait so there's no watermark right now so i can have no watermark i believe is that what it's saying because there's no watermark right now so i mean using streamlabs if i 
go like this and I'm playing a game, there is no watermark. Everything's good, right? Um, okay. Oh, come on up. Why won't you come on up? Up, up. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Is that what I wanted? I'm confused. What was I doing? Okay, I'm back. Um, all right. And then control two. This scene gives you some information. You have the watermark up there as well. Your name, your ads and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. You can bring that up there. Uh, how do you edit those things though? That is what I don't know. Collections, add to new collections, favorite, duplicate and modify. Oh, duplicate and modify. That might be it. So if I go duplicate and modify, default personal information, overlay, copy. Okay. And then here we go. So you can, you can uh, change the image, the text. Okay. Very cool. You can change all of those things. I like that. Uh, now I did duplicate. Oh, there's a couple of other things here, like a good amount. Uh, what's this one? We have a little card here at the bottom control four. That's cool right there. Uh, let's see here. This one, just a little tag there. You can also change the picture and everything. Really cool, man. What is this control six? Okay, it gives you those grid lines. And then what do we have here? Camo shot on iPhone. We got with a, a little vignette going on. What is this one? All right. And then last but not least. Oh, I think that's the duplicate, right? Yeah, so I'm going to delete the duplicate. Let's get rid of that. That's the one that I did. And I think you can, yeah, you can just add new scenes, import existing scenes, um, open scene gallery. Like there's some cool things here, man. Framing. What is framing here? What does this do? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, we're back to that. But um, honestly, like pretty cool, man. Now, if I close this application, does it close the camera? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Awesome. And then image adjustments. Oh, so there is a lot you can do over here with adjustments. Now, me, I'm, I'm not like a, a camera guy. I'm not going to be bothering any of these things. Maybe auto. I'll probably turn on auto. Yeah. Exposure auto white balance auto. Okay. Okay. It makes it a lot cooler. I kind of like the warmer a little bit. And right now it's not doing the focus thing. Uh, flash level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So that definitely helps with, uh, the lighting. Okay. So this makes a lot of sense. Okay. This makes a lot of sense. That feels stupid. I didn't check this before. Brightness. Uh, we don't have to trouble that. that. I guess that's if I want to make adjustments. The hue, the saturation. Yeah, I don't need to make any adjustments there. Uh, white balance. I'm going to leave. Yeah, it's very warmer. My skin tone is a lot warmer. But I think the white balance on, on auto, is definitely more accurate. Tint, I don't have to trouble that. Exposure, ISO, all of that stuff is on auto. I think that looks a lot better. So yeah, and then with, uh, where is that? The flash level. Wow, so this is what I was doing the whole time, not knowing that I could have had it looking so much better. So much better. Yeah, I need to shave, I know. Um, anyways, okay, let's, let's wrap this up. So camo free is what I got, so we have Outstanding high quality video, no watermark, no ads, no spam. Okay. Um, so it wasn't a watermark. It's just a logo. You can replace it and put a logo there. And what is this? Make the most of your devices, right? Quality videos. It's definitely high quality compared to the Pixel 6a. Uh, okay. So Camel Pro, $50 per year. You unlock all the pro features, which makes sense. You can activate on up to two computers. And you have a 30 day money back guarantee. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to do it. Okay. So that's annually monthly is roughly 10 bucks a month, 10 bucks. Cause that means five months you're already paying what it is for it annually. Right? So no, the annual is definitely the way to go. Definitely the way to go. A lifetime. So I just saw down here, not a fan of subscriptions, get a lifetime license. You know, we got to check that out. What is the lifetime license? It's a hundred bucks. Lifetime license. 
It's a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks US. Huh. Honestly, if you're gonna use it like me, I'm a as my headphones falls off the headphone stand um, that I was testing out, and it clearly seems that uh, never mind, that's not going to hold up my headphones. Okay, uh, it is actually a stand, but it's one of those that you stick to the back of your monitor, and it just completely fell. It was up there for about six, seven hours, so I give it that. But I believe the the 3M tape on the back there wasn't uh, strong enough. Um, anyways, the lifetime just makes a whole much it makes so much more sense right um i don't know if i'm dropping a bills more than a bills because that's 99 us i'm in canada so that's more than the bills i don't think i'm dropping that right now i'll probably do the year and then i mean honestly it's definitely worth it the year is worth it the lifetime is worth it the lifetime is definitely worth it i'm probably gonna get the lifetime <laughs> Uh, but that is for another video or is that for a video that's not for a video it's just something that people say and it just slipped out of my mouth right now um anyways hope you guys enjoy camo studio pro if you didn't know now you know about it i didn't know about it now i did and it changes everything the quality is going to go up the effects the filters all of that stuff it's good to go hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a thumbs up really appreciate it if you didn't enjoy the video Leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I'm Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.